Hi, I'm Jacques DeVoe. Welcome to the quick tip video on using the Soundcaster and Transport Control in WISE. We'll show you some of the basic workflow and also how to make decisions and simulation using these tools as well. So, if we look at WISE, playing objects is simple. All I need to do is select them within the project and you'll see that they are automatically loaded in the Transport Control. So this allows me to navigate very quickly simply by selecting various objects. I can do that with the keyboard or I can do that with the mouse as well. Uh, there may be cases where you want to keep a particular object in the transport while you make selections throughout your project. So I'll select this random container here and I want to lock it to the transport and I do that by using the pin button. So now you'll see that it's locked. I have the FS concrete container. So no, no matter what I select within my project, I will only be playing the pinned object, which in this case is the random container. I'll remove the pin. The second thing I'll show you now is the original button. This allows me to listen to the conversion settings for the various content for my various platforms. What we'll do here is we'll go and locate some musical content. So I have this segment here. So with the original button illuminated, I'm hearing my original content, which in this case is 48K. So, let's go and expand and take a look at the track content. So here's the conversion settings. So what I want to do is I want to make something drastic. So let's say uh, maybe 8K, 80 PCM, something drastic for the purposes of this demonstration. So now I can convert that quickly. And now my original content. And now I can disable the original button and hear the converted version. I may not want to use these settings, but the point here is that the decisions can be made directly in WISE whether or not your conversion settings are adequate for the particular sounds that you're looking for. You don't have to wait for your game to be running to make these decisions. Play platform objects only. This allows me to make platform decisions within my content here. So by excluding elements in my random container for maybe reasons of memory, for example, uh, by default, I'm going to only hear content that is included. So I cannot play these and my random container in this case will only play this piece of content here. By disabling the PF only option in the transport it allows me to hear content that is not enabled for my particular platform. If I play the random container you can hear that it's picking content that has not been included for the platform. Generally you probably want to work with uh, PF only button enabled so you can hear exactly what's going on for your content. Another area of interest in the transport control are the game sinks. So the game sinks can be controlled directly in the transport as well. I'm going to load a blend container which has a car engine and you can see that I have real-time parameter controls assigned to that object here. So by playing them I can manipulate them directly in the transport. And if I go into the reset area here, I can either reset all or I can selectively go there and reset an individual game sync. In this case, I want to reset game parameters. So these return now to their default values. Okay, let's talk now about the Soundcaster and how this can be used as a simulation tool throughout your sessions. I'll click on the session tab and I have a preloaded one here called music. And basically, the Soundcaster is really powerful because it allows you to drag and drop anything that you create in your project directly into a Soundcaster session. Events, uh, sounds, voices, anything that you create. So for example, if I was to drop my random container here, all I need to do is take it, drag and drop it, and now it's accessible directly as part of my Soundcaster session. And this is really great because this allows you to play more than one sound and control real-time parameters and volumes and pitches and so on of your various elements that you drop there. So what we'll do here is I'll show you a quick example now of um, using an event, which I double clicked here called set low pass filter. And basically what this does, the action is a low pass filter on a music bus of a value of 65 over a period of two seconds. So this will basically create a low pass effect on my music. So I'll enable that effect now. So what I can do now is I can either load this 
reset all or go and specifically reset the low pass or in this case I'll just simply hit the reset all button. And you'll notice before I do that that I have a low pass filter light illuminated showing me what's going on. We have those for volume, pitch and so on. Visual feedback that there is changes going on to your content. So reset all stops the playback, resets my states and basically everything back to their default values. Um, there's also show all buttons that allow you to show all game syncs for the objects that you have currently in your Soundcaster session. So in this case, I could access all of the real-time parameter controls that, that exist in my project uh, just simply by selecting show all. Same thing for uh, switches and, the, and states and so on. So that's it. Um, I hope you have a better understanding of the transport and the Soundcaster. Uh, see you next time.